Hey everybody, uh, this is my 125 gallon um, Oscar tank that I just put together. And it's not finished yet, but I wanted to get a clip out and show you who I've got before I actually finish it up. Um, right there in the middle we have a Bumblebee Oscar. And he's about a little over a year old, I guess, from what I was told. Oh, we've got a chocolate cichlid. And over here we got a little starry night. And the only other fish in here right now is, I've got a four line pictus. She's underneath the uh, piece of driftwood back there right now. But yeah, I just put this up. Well, actually, I've actually had it up for a little while, but uh, slowly working at it, trying to get it together. And I actually do have a, a very small juvenile Oscar in my, Oscar in my little uh, quarantine tank right now. But when this guy became available, I went ahead and jumped on him because I, I like to get fish that are not quite as common. So a lot of, a lot of the cichlids I have are... Uh, not all the common ones, but I have some of, some of the rarer ones, or try to anyway. But when I saw this guy available, I went ahead and picked him up. Guy or girl, I'm not sure yet. I haven't vented her, him. But yeah, so far I've had, had him for a little over a week. And very, very uh, mild-mannered, getting along with everybody. And actually, I had a couple different guys that I had in here with him that I thought would be good tank mates. I had a green severum that was nipping at him. I had an orange shoulder severum that was nipping at him. And a gold saw him that was all nipping at him. So I, um, I aim for having peaceful tanks, so I pulled all those guys out. And the chocolate and the starry night have been getting along really well with them, so. So I think it'll be these four guys. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna add that little juvenile Oscar at some point or not. Um, but I try to do my homework and try to get, you know, appropriate tank mates and uh, tank size for these Oscars. So I think I'm on the right track. But uh, he's a gorgeous fish, I think. And the fact that he's just a little bit different is nice. I like the little bit, like I said, fish are a little bit different. Now, I've read where bumblebees don't get quite as large as your, uh, most Oscars. But then I've seen some reports where they get just as big. So, But I'm not, I didn't get them for size. I just got them because I liked them. But he's a little over a year, and he's probably about, I'm guessing, eight inches right now. And his chocolate's doing fantastic. And his colors have been changing. I don't know, he just, it's a cool, he's a cool fish to watch. And this ivy that I have up here, I just threw that in to see what it would look like in the tank. Because uh, having nothing in the background... Uh, the fish seem like they were pretty washed out with no, nothing else to trim the tank up with. So I'm, I think I'm going to get some tiny little suction cups and try to, uh, I don't know, make the, the ivy look better. And that piece of driftwood's not uh, completely sinking right now. That's why that rock is on top. And I got a little pile of rocks down there holding it down. But yeah, the story night... He's got plenty of places to hide. No one bothers him though, so even though he's the small guy in the tank. Yeah, like I've only had him for a little while, but I can tell 
already right away about how big of a personality personality they have. Um, uh, it's been enjoyable so far. I got I got to admit. <laughs> Well, that's a quick look, guys. I'll get another clip up later when I have everything, like, completely done and everything. Like, I have a little dual sponge filter back in the corner there. I just use that filter to get this tank up and cycle. It's just sitting back there right now. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, peace out.